All right, and let's take some sports news now and the selection process to pick the team that will represent the country in this year's edition of the World Relays began at the Nairobi West Prisons with a number of athletes making a mark for themselves. In the men's 400 meters race, Bonface Moresa was a cut above his opponents as he cruised to victory ahead of Collins Omai and Vincent Kosgay, who took second and third place respectively. In the men's four, 200 meters final, Mark Otieno cruised to victory as Peter Moai took the second place with Ferdinand Omanyala taking the third position. In the women's 800 meters final, Emily Cherotich emerged victorious ahead of Mary Kuria and Josephine Chelanga. Today's race was okay, actually executed the way it was, and hopefully hope to make time to go for the Races coming ahead. Yeah, actually, I'm planning to run the three and um, hopefully to qualify for the Bahamas and the World Championship early. The event has been very, very colorful. We have been uh, surprised of uh, our athletes. Uh, they are really doing great. In fact, uh, if I talk of a part of my team, I have seen some of them, even they have put their, they have registered their personal best. And it's something that is very encouraging. The Sports Spesa All-Stars team toured the KCOM Stadium for the first time since arriving in England in preparation for their match against English Premier League side Hull City. The team also saw for the first time the jerseys that they will use for the game against Hull City. The players also got a chance to watch the English Premier League tie between Hull City and Burnley that took place at the KCOM Stadium. Stanley Okumbi, who is the custodian of the All-Stars, says he is looking forward to face a much-changed Hull City team since the Tigers are fighting relegation in the league.